Well, the question I had was, can humans control the course of history? And the key finger I had was Vladimir Lenin. So to start off my presentation, I'm going to ask conservative corner a question, and that is, can you sum up the principle of communism in one word? Starvation. Oh my god, you crazy. Equality. Vladimir yes. Lenin would probably disagree. But to start off, uh, Lenin, first off, he was a predecessor to Joseph Stalin in Russia. Um, he was the leader of the Bolshevik Party, and he was considered to be a Marxist. Um, he was one of the most well-known Marxists of the modern era, and just really interesting guy. Uh, to answer his question, to, if he were to answer the question of could humans control the course of history, he would say yes. Um, his assumptions were to start, um, excuse me, the proletarian, one of his assumptions was the uh, prole proletariat revolution couldn't succeed without overthrowing the Tsar reg regime. And the reason for this was he assumed that the duty of the proletariat was to work towards the work towards the goal of overthrowing the Tsar. Um, he also thought that foreign relations weren't necessary. And he thought this because other nations would follow up the proletariat revolution and world peace would be world peace would be achieved after that. His values um, he did not value the regard for individual human life. Um, he thought that the ends justified the means to get where he wanted to go. And it's tough to disagree with that at some point. Um, he also highly, val highly valued the proletariat. Um, so the proletariat is a working class citizens and it made up most of Russia's population at the time. He believed that if there were to be any change needed, that, that excuse me, if there were to be any change, then it needed to start with them. He valued the hard work and the contributions that they made to society. His goals, his, goal, his first goal was to take over the Russian government. Um, he wanted to take over the provisional government and he thought that it was the dictatorship of the burgessy. The burgessy is the upper class and he thought that they were just, that they were, it was unfairly set up towards them. He also, um, he wanted to lead Russia in becoming the first ever communist state. He failed at this as no state has ever been fully communist. And basically, all that happened was after he took over the government, he just led them into becoming the first totalitarian state. Um, one of his quotes was, the goal of socialism is communism. Evidence. He led the Bolshevik Revolution. The Bol Bolshevik Revolution took place in 1917. And basically what happened was, um, he formed the Bolshevik Party, and over a two-day period in November, they basically rioted the provisional government and took control. It was bloodless and just completely changed power in Russia. Um, it, he led the first, totali first totalitarian state, but he fell short of communism. Later on, the Red Terror took place. Um, after the Bolsheviks took over in Russia, there was a civil war. And the Red Army, which was Lenin's side, versus the White Army, which was the people who were rebelling against his party, um, there was a civil war, and 50,000 plus people died after the war. So that's where it's evidence that he did not value the individual human life. Um, and that is all I have. And what do you do? Oh yeah, can I open the floor for questions? Let's see. <laughs> When you said like the ends justify the means, do you mean just for his ideas of taking over um, for his particular party? Or, or what? I don't know, that's what I'm asking. Like, is that only what it meant, or is there, was there something else? To, I mean, uh, yeah, I guess, because he, he wanted to take, take over control of Russia, and he had a lot of problems with the, with the prior provisional government. So he was, uh, he, he, like I said, he didn't value individual human life, and he was just willing to do whatever it took to achieve full communism in Russia. Clayton. What are your thoughts on Lenin and what he stands for? Um, he was certainly an interesting guy. Um, <laughs> I don't necessarily agree with all of his actions and morals, I guess, but to each his own. Carly. Do you know, like, why he wanted communism? Because if he didn't value the individual, like I feel like communism is oriented towards the success of the individual almost. Yeah, that's a question. I don't know. Um, it was just set up as like state success. I'm gonna lead 
off your question, communism is more focused on the success of the community. So that's the um, the basis of the word communism is community. community. Yeah, but then well, doesn't yeah, like each individual part. person have to do their equal part to make sure the community is doing well, and working? I thought like Marx's argument Not was exactly. that like for happiness to be achieved, like everybody has to be taken care of. So that starts on an individual basis. Like the community is not going to succeed unless everybody yeah. individually but, is But let's suffice. aim questions at, at Jack and not let him stand up there slash him in the Sorry, yeah. Sorry, Sorry, Sorry. 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 Sorry.